That's my bathtub back there. Huh? Huh? Like that? That's where all the magic happened. Okay, so I'm just like saying, let's just do like an escape, high glam, everything's fine. We're pretending like nothing's wrong. <laughs> it's called the Oh No Corona Don't eye makeup. Oh No Corona Don't. First of all, I have these eye drops from uh, Collier Blue. They're French and they're kind of um, intense. Like you're not supposed to use them all the time, but in times of emergencies I, like Corona, I think this is the time. Um, they actually stain your eye blue. I think they were developed for pink eye, but a drag queen that I met years ago when I was young, who was like a share impersonator, showed me these. And then they kind of like stain everything, just like a little blue. How are you guys doing? I'm trying to read your stuff, but... Oh, you guys want me to turn my phone... Oh, I got it. Sorry. Fair enough. How do I turn this part? Let me try that. I don't know if I can on here actually, to be honest. Nope. It is gonna be a horizontal video, y'all. Sorry. Oh wait. Ha ha ha. Here you go. Sorry guys. Is that better? Here we go. Have you guys heard this song? It's called God Must Be Doing Cocaine. It's this real statement. It's, it's kind of funny, kind of true, especially right now. Like, what the fuck is going on, actually? So this is a pencil called Minted from MAC that I love, that I've had for a really long time. It's kind of like a turquoisey green jade color. And it's one of their soft liners, so you can kind of put it on the inside of your eye. I always start with the eyes because you end up making a mess. I started doing makeup when I was a kid. Um, so I was kind of a weird kid, <laughs> still a weird kid. And um, I used to, I first started playing with my mom's makeup, of course. And then she got mad at me a couple times. It was, she was like, that's my shit. Stop touching my makeup. Cause I was probably messing it up. And she ended up, um, I, I asked her to get me a theatrical makeup kit. So she got me one of my own and it was like for, you know, I was in musical theater, so I learned how to do like old makeup and like monster makeup around Halloween. And then it, and then slowly, like as I got a little older, I was still interested in cosmetics and I started like looking at fashion magazines more. And I actually in high school used to do um, some of my girlfriend's makeup for fun. I had so much fun doing it. And of course my own, of course. But of course going to school, this is, you know, a while ago, there was nobody at school looking like that. And I was kind of a pussy, to be honest with you. And so I wouldn't go into school with makeup on. Um, but then when I graduated and I moved to LA, I used to wear makeup all the time when I went out. So I found my freedom, but it took a while. So then I usually go to the eyebrows. Let me find my brushes. Sorry, I'm a scattered mess because I just decided to do this for you all. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody feeling? Are we stressed? Anxiety? I have a little anxiety today, I'm not gonna lie. Just a bit. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be crippling anxiety. You can kind of like just deal with it sometimes. <clears throat> 
Staying busy helps, I think. You know, projects, like fucking painting your eyes. No, you don't want to use I'm going to use this I got these, when I moved into this house, I actually had this little makeup station built, and it is like so great to have things organized. Because I am a mess of a person sometimes. <laughs> I cannot keep anything organized. Where is that one? Okay, this will work. I've been searching for this for a minute. So I use a little brush. I usually like to fill in just like the insides a little bit of my eyebrows. I like that look, it's like stronger. And my eyes are more wide set so I can kind of deal with it. Just to define the brow. And I'll have to get rid of the zit later. Oh, zits. Zits suck. When I was a teenager, I had the worst skin. It was like, holy shit. And then I was insecure on top of it, so I would like pick at it, you know, and try to pop every, you know, it's like an obsession. And then I left myself with pretty bad scarring, actually. Um, which I've, you know, still have. And that's why I have these little like, you can't tell because I have the filter on for a good reason. But, um, you know, like little scars from acne. I don't know, I think maybe that's one of the reasons why I got so into makeup is because I felt like I could cover up what I found to be ugly or not, you know, didn't make me feel good, like the zits and stuff on my face. And I could kind of transform and become my own creation. And I think no matter who you are, there's something really nice about that. And I, I also think like there's a conversation right now about gender and all that and I, I love it. Um, I think my exploration with makeup had less to do with me wanting to be a different gender and more just be beautiful. I felt that, I don't know, I, I didn't feel like I was in a gender exploration, but more so that I found feminine characteristics to be attractive and I like liked the combination on my face. I don't know. And now as like a, as a grown up, like I love having like a beard, but getting to paint. I, I like, like the juxtaposition. And I guess the thing that got me into it was not as much, I mean, this is before Drag Race when I started doing makeup and like, um, it wasn't drag that pulled me into makeup. It was, uh, rock and roll. Uh, <laughs> like my favorite rock stars from like the seventies all kind of played with